This is a demonstration of Health One Technologies ICD-10 problem form. This form assists users in the addition of ICD-10 problems to the patient chart, a process that can be very time-consuming and complex for users using the default Centricity UI. The form utilizes a series of drop-down filters to quickly narrow down results for problem entry. It can stand on its own or it can be part of a larger update. It has no translation and will not affect the look of your final note. Today's example will focus on orthopedic problems. However, the form is customizable and can be tailored to fit any specialty. Upon entering the form, the user chooses three primary filter items, a pick list, a body system, and category in this case. Choosing these three initial items is very important as it narrows the list down to a size that is manageable for centricity to handle. Children elbow humerus is one of the largest lists in the form so far with 1,720 results as you can see here in red. After choosing your primary filters, all matching codes will be displayed on the right for the user who can then choose the diagnosis or further narrow choices with the additional filters. Once the user has a sufficiently small set of choices, they can add any problems they'd like to the patient's chart by checking them off and clicking the Add Diagnosis button. If the onset date is left blank, then it will use today's date. The user may choose a different date if they'd like, and the problem will be added with that onset date. As you can see, we've added our problem to the list of active problems. The user can then continue adding problems, click the reset button and choose from a new group of items uh, or leave the form if they're done. Individual filters can be cleared by clicking the X button. As you can see, as filters are changed or cleared, your number of results instantly updates and your user has the appropriate list to choose from. Thank you for watching today's demonstration of the Health One ICD-10 problem search form.